All right, welcome back everyone. And of course, my name is Nigel Schroeder and I'm here to give you guys a quick understanding of a decision that I made recently um, that may have thrown a few people off. It may have seemed, um, you know, a bit unsettling uh, to some people. And that is, uh, of course, by the title you should know, I um, recently took leave from my job as a adjunct professor. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who are going to be starting to watch this video and just by the title, um, you're watching it and you're probably going to go right down to the comments and say, oh, he's lying. Um, he wasn't a college professor. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, so to begin that, I worked at Indy River State College for the past um, two and a half years. I have um, my certification right here from SACS, um, where I was teaching adult education. Um, if you actually work at a college, you um, you know will be able to verify uh, this information from SACS. And uh, as I said, that uh, comes straight from the college. So I just wanted to knock that out from the beginning. Um, so that I can get right into the actual meat and potatoes of this video. And as far as why I made the decision that I chose to make with leaving um, and what was going on. So um, flashback to, um, you know, when I started my YouTube channel. When I started my YouTube channel, I started my YouTube channel um, with the intent to educate the masses. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could help other people um, financially, personally, socially, um, give people a safe haven, a place to uh, feel comfortable, be able to interact with the people who support me, and, um, you know, just bring out uh, inner joy and education in the world. And so with that being said, when I started my YouTube channel, you know, those were really my focuses were to help people. Um, when I went and got this job um, teaching at the state college, those were my same goals were to be able to help people and impact people's lives and allow them to have opportunities that they would not have um, previously had. So, you know, many people. Um, looked at this job when I got it um, because I got it right at 18 as a um, or sorry right at 19 they looked at it as a a huge opportunity and I did myself I had just graduated from college I wasn't even out of college for six months um, I got called in at first I you know I didn't even know how to react I thought it was like a joke when I got called in went in for the interview and was able to get hired. And once I was able to get hired, um, it just was one of those things where I was so dedicated to this job and putting all my time and effort and energy into this one stream of income, this one source of income, just this job. And um, what happened is we got so many accolades um, you know, for my satellite campus outperforming, um, the other campuses, um, having the highest graduation rates, having so many students, um, graduate and that being able to impact people's lives. It was what kept me in that position for so long and just made me want to stay there and continue to do what I was doing. However, um, due to politics at my other job, I had to get another uh, full-time job, and that forced me to move out of that area. So by me having moved out of that area, moving an hour away, I was actually still driving back and forth every single day just to go down there, just to teach these students, just to see a difference in their lives. So when I went um, to go and teach one night, I was just super exhausted, almost fell asleep driving on the highway. And so, um, you know, that quick flash made me think about another incident that I had um, where I actually did fall asleep at the wheel and uh, spun out on 95. Luckily, I 
didn't get in an accident or anything. But, um, you know, that was kind of resting on me, but I was still doing it for a while after that. And I actually had an instance where, um, or sorry, incident where I'd had somebody else that I was trusting with things and they weren't managing them properly. Um, therefore I was having personal issues, um, with other things as well as I had four family members die back to back within four weeks. So now by having these four family members pass away back to back, um, I'm extremely exhausted. They're calling me. We're going to funerals. We're talking about probate. We're doing so many different things. Um, it just all became overwhelming. And so, um, I stopped going, started, you know, uh, messaging my coworker. However, uh, my phone has problems with text messages sometimes. So I tell people to call me all the time. That's why I always say, call me, call me, call me. Um, so we had a miscommunication because I didn't receive a text message. So she went and, um, you know, talked to, um, higher ups and saying, oh, well, he hasn't showed up to work in a month. Well, like I said, every week for a month, I had a family member pass away and my direct supervisor was out of the country. Um, so when the incident happened, I was like, I don't even know who to reach out to. Um, and I was just letting them know at the office, like, hey, I won't be in today. And just forgot, and it kind of spiraled um, upwards. So I went ahead and said, okay, um, you know, I'll put in my leave because I really thought about it. Um, and the amount of money that I can make on YouTube in that hour is exponentially larger than what I was making at that college as an adjunct professor. Uh, not saying that they paid poorly, but it wasn't going to cover my bills or costs or make my life any easier than being at home. YouTube allows me to be creative. It allows me to have that social outlet. It allows me to be able to feel as though I'm fulfilling my purpose um, just as well as I did in the classroom. Um, it relieved two hours of driving out of, well, about three hours is about an hour and a half. About three hours of driving out of my days, Monday through Thursday. Um, the amount of money that I was spending in gas was actually um, not too far behind the amount of money that I was making back when I weighed out, okay, my gas, my time on the road, and then my time in the classroom. And when I just began weighing out all these different things, I said, you know what? It would be a better opportunity for me to go ahead and take leave um, and get everything back stabilized in my life before I choose to go back. And so in the time that I've been out, you know, I've worked on my master's degree. I'm still working as an educator at another school as well as, you know, building the channel, growing, creating content, planning, doing things to that nature. Um, and we've also took on a few other things um, that I was able to pick up because I'm not driving down there and wasting three hours. Um, not to say that it's a waste, um, but that is a lot of time out of your day every single day to be going to do something that's not making you a lot of money. So moral of the story, basically pay attention to your situation and recognize what you're doing and how you could be more efficient and effective and how you can impact your life in a better way rather than um, sitting back and freaking out about what's going on in the world or, you know, your bills or whatever it is that you have going on. Take th the time out of your day to evaluate your situation and figure out what things that you can change yourself what things you may need help to change, find people to help you make these adjustments and make the proper adjustments. Um, like I said, I loved my job. Uh, I still miss it. Um, but most importantly, 
I love what I do on YouTube. I love the lives that I've impacted. I love not having to, um, you know, come home super late and miss out on spending time at home. The extra rest is extremely relieving. Um, and just being able to spend this time with you all and family during the holidays means a lot to me as well as being able to further my education and then maybe go back and teach some online courses or something to that effect uh, where I wouldn't have to be physically on the campus that would allow me to build and grow further. So as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one.